just came from um, Cheesecake Factory and the food was superb. It was actually one of the best in a while, right? Did you yeah. enjoy yours? He had um, the lemon pancake and um, what did you think about it? It was pretty good, right? Yeah, it was pretty good. Oof. And also they had like little markets outside and so it is very hot out today. What is the degrees? It's almost like a hundred degrees outside. It's 88 degrees. It's 88 degrees. Well, it's still hot. It's really hot. So anyhow, yeah, so the breakfast was really good. I had the California omelet, which was excellent. I could not finish it, so I did take it home to probably have it for later, or my daughter can have it later on. And um, that's it. So right now we're gonna go back home. Um, oh, we stopped off and got some fruits. They had some superb fruit from like Central America, where I'm from. And uh, they had like lychees and I don't know, mangoes, and then they had, um, what is it? Watermelon slices. It's very delicious. And dragon fruit. Very, very tropical fruit. Love it. So, um, okay, so we're going to go home now and I'm going to unbox my two boxes so you guys can see what I got from Pottery Barn. And then if I have time, we'll see if we can go ahead and decorate or start the decoration before we head out to the movies. Okay, so we just got back from outing. We went to breakfast. Then we went to the stores and basically I did not have any time right now to start going through my packages. So we have a 245 for Deadpool. So we made a detour to the mall <laughs> and we were able to pick up a few things because my, like I said, my husband wanted me to um, get some t-shirts for the, um, the uh, movie, but he did not like the ones I picked out. So we went back to pick and see what else maybe he liked. And while we were there, I did get me a Deadpool lounge fly, or he got me rather, a Deadpool lounge fly. Look how cute, look at the pool right here. I'm gonna make this quick because I only have like 15 minutes before we gotta head out and make our way to the um, movie theater. So it's all burgundy and all black with black um, trimmings, even the handles black. Let me see what the inside looks like. It's just all burgundy. Look at that. So this is super cool. I I have Marvel bags. I have about maybe three, but mostly from the Wakanda, uh, the Black Panther series. Not really um, Marvel, Marvel. Well, this is Marvel, but not really like any other movie uh, bag. So um, look at his logo right there. So this is so cool. So I'm gonna wear this today when we go. So that was one item. Let me get the other items so I can show it. So we actually had to go to Tilly's <laughs> instead of box lunch. He did not like the box lunch t-shirt. So um, I got this from Tilly's. This one is mine. So this one that says Deadpool and Wolverine. Look at that. It is a little bit of a crop top. So I'm gonna wear this with some jeans and of course my Air Force Ones because that's like the look. Then he got this for himself and this one says just Deadpool. And it's more of a white t-shirt than black. The other one was black. I didn't even get a chance to show you guys the ones that I did pick out. So that is what we um, are going to wear for the movie. I can't wait. So we're going to this movie theater. It's called the iPick Movie Theater. It's kind of like an upscale movie theater place where you can actually have drinks and snacks brought to you um, and, and you're in recliner chairs but they come and they, they wait on you and they bring you your snacks your food while you're watching the movie so I'm gonna take you guys with me um, I'll film as much as I can when we get there this is our second time going this so it's a really cool you know the place to be the place to hang out I can see why it's a vibe so I am dressed let me just get a couple get all that ready and um, I'm gonna pop off the so I can wear this. So cool. This is really nice. Did not expect it to be such a cool backpack, but yet it is. And like I said, I have other Marvel bags. I just never actually um, have I ever worn them? No, I have like a I have a Black Panther one, I have a Spider-Man, and now I have Deadpool. I would like the Wolverine one though, but 
you know, these, I, for me, I think these things I would only wear when I go to the movie theaters, like I am today. Super cute. Um, I'll show you guys my outfit real quick. See how you guys like it. Look at that. My outfit. So I actually have, um, was it two or three Black Panther backpack pins? Two. Two, but two um, Black Panther. I have Black Panther, Killmonger, and um, then I also got from the um, Wakanda Forever. I think I have a backpack of can't remember his name. <laughs> can't remember the villain's name. But I have a spider backpack, and then now I have this one. And look how the back looks. So cool. So I am wearing this one today. Loving it. So let me show you guys the outfit check. So this is I'm wearing t-shirt, baggy jeans. I'm wearing my force ones. This is how that looks. This is how it's gonna look. Love it. So we're now, we finally got out of the house. My gosh, um, we're like 15 minutes late getting out. So hopefully we'll, we'll make it. You think we'll make it? Uh, we're, we're South Floridians. <laughs> Our lane is all on time. Yeah. Yeah, but these are reserved seating. So, but hopefully, you know, I think we will. I mean, it takes like a while for them, the movie to begin anyway. And I don't know, uh, I think we'll be all right. So it is a little bit of a distance. It's uh, all the way North Miami Beach, which is, you gotta take the expressway, turnpike, expressway, what you gotta take turnpike, 95, then it's a long strip down to get to the other side, right? Something like that, to the east side. So, but. <laughs> Yeah, but that's where they had the movie. That's where they had that IPIC movie. Um, I don't think they have another one. I think another one is up in Boca. Boca and then I think West Palm. Yeah, Boca and West Palm. So it's just a few and far in between for a lot of them. good I have to say I enjoyed it I enjoyed the movie the food was the best I had pizza and you had the mahi tacos mahi mahi tacos and um, it's pretty good their food I have to say it's pretty good because it's also like a restaurant combined with the movie theater so I think like if you want to eat you can also eat in the restaurant section right yeah so chef kiss to that the movie was great so if you haven't seen Deadpool I recommend you see it so it's a gut buster you're gonna love it Disney, you did great with this one. Okay guys, so we finally made it home and um, I wanted to do this haul before the day gets away from me because we've been gone all day and we're very tired and I intended to actually re um, get inspired by this Pottery Barn picture that I saw. I'm gonna insert right here. <laughs> And what I want to do is I want to recreate the same thing, but on my dining table and then also on my coffee table. So I want to do two areas. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the uh, merch that I did pick up from the Pottery Barn. Well, actually that I ordered from the Pottery Barn. But before I do that, I want to show you guys um, a Halloween order that came in from this, from um, the Disney store. And it's that new tote bag that says Halloween. This is so cool. I did get last year's edition. Um, so I wanted to, you know, with purchase, I think you get it for like either $29.99, $19.99 or $29.99. I don't remember now. But this is the new one. So you 
adorable. Last year I had the um, aqua one and this one looks like it's all glow in the dark. That seems to be the theme this year. And it's so pretty. It's a very vibrant orange, I might say. And look at the inside. It's just one big compartment, but it is a tote, which I love. You can use it for like everything, anything actually. So it just says Halloween. And I thought it would say the year because last year's did say 2023, but it doesn't. Let me see. And I, it does say glow in the dark. So it does glow in the dark, which I kind of figured that. You could tell from the... um the green areas, the way that it feels, it has that little grainy feel. So, and you kind of know that it does glow in the dark. So, anywho, I wanted to show you guys that and also let me quickly show you another item that I picked up from TJ Maxx. They're just merches that I'm going to be using to incorporate into a DIY that I want to do at a later video. So let me get that for you. I did find these at TJ Maxx and they were $9.99. And I could not find Mickey and Minnie. They only had two Mickey Minis. So I did go ahead and just pick it up anyway. I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna incorporate this into my decor this year. So I did want that because you know when it comes when at TJ Maxx, when they have like Disney items, you have to grab it. They also had this for $6.99. And this kind of reminds me of Joanna Parker. I don't know if you guys know her merch, which has like that carnival look. Those are all like the Joanna Parker um pieces so this kind of remind me of that even though it doesn't say Joanna Parker I think it's kind of like a, a dupe but nevertheless they sell Joanna Parker at Hallmark they sell them sometimes you find them at Ross you can find them at TJ Maxx so this kind of looked like that so I did want to get I did want to get this but I wanted this for my bar cards so for my coffee yeah the bar card not the bar card I wanted this for my tear tray that's what I wanted this for and then you guys already saw when I picked this up, I think this piece I picked up at, um, I want to say Joanna's Fabric. So I'm going to incorporate this today as well, somehow in the decor. Not sure how I'm going to do it, so um, we'll figure it out as we go along. Okay, and so this is another item I did get from TJ Maxx, which I absolutely love. This is going to be my table runner where I'm going to put the Pottery Barn piece on top. And I love this, that this was like bat and it's kind of sheer. So I did get a black runner to go underneath it. I might not need it though, because if I did put in something black, it'll you won't be able to see the bat. So I'm gonna incorporate this as well. So this is gonna go underneath. So that's going to be um, part of the decor. And then this one is going to be for the coffee table. It's a runner and I did like this big check print but I decided to get it in orange. So, um, and I'll show you why. Um, I wanted two different ones. So, um, and then also I did get these. I think these are for like roll pillows. So these are actually for um, 12, I think 12 by 12 pillows. So I can stuff these and put them on the um, couch to match the centerpiece runner. So I think it's gonna look really nice and it's two of them. I wanted to do the black and gray check or black and white check but then i decided let me incorporate a little bit of orange because it's not going to be too many, too much orangey in there and let me go ahead and show you the throw pillows that i did get then i want to show you guys my pottery barn inspired throw pillows they look just like pottery, pottery barn um items i'm going to put up a picture right here so you guys can see you know where I got my inspiration from so this is the first one and this is from TJ Maxx is it TJ Maxx I think it's TJ Maxx look how cute he's like a dangling limb dude so cool this was actually intended for my doggies but I decided not to because I know my Georgie and he will tear it up and you will not see it anymore <laughs> and then this one is an inspired bat so cool now this one I did get off of Amazon not expensive at all i think i don't remember how much it is but i don't think it was more than 20 bucks um so this one is from amazon and then this one is from tj maxx and they kind of do look like the pottery barn ones so i really am glad when i picked these up okay so the very first item from the pottery barn i want you guys to see this is in here and this is a gorgeous cookie jar that I saw and I really love the aesthetic of it. I love the way that it looked. 
and I just figured that it would um, make a good asset this year for my centerpiece tape for the table. So let me go ahead and take this out and then I will show you guys everything. I took it out and this is the gorgeous piece. Look at this. Like I said, it has subtle orange pieces in it. Let me put the top on so you guys can see the whole thing. It's a house, definitely, like you can pick up. And it's just going to be beautiful. Look at this. So I'm trying to figure out how um, how to decorate the centerpiece of the dining table here. But I did pick up another piece similar to it, which is a little bit bigger. So this one is the cookie jar. And let me get the other one so you can see. And then I'm going to play around to see which one I want on the dining table and which one I want on the uh, coffee table and see how you know how it ties together okay and so now this is the next piece it's a little bit bigger so i'm going to have to try to take the stuff out it's a little bit heavy so i'm going to see if maybe sean can come and help me take it out um, and then i'll show you guys once it's put together so we finally got the whole thing out and let me show it to you it's a little bit bigger than the um <laughs> look at this this is intended to be um a wine cooler so you put like drinks in there with ice and it's not made of ceramic it's made of plastic which is pretty good so I'm thinking this piece is going to be on the main table here because it is bigger let me show it to you one more time look at that this is the side it's huge but it is gorgeous so yeah I want to use this so let's go ahead and put everything together so you guys can see how I set it all up. Okay, so this is the finished look on the table. I mean, I'm gonna add some more things, of course. I did go ahead and do the uh, Joanna Parker like um, little figurine right there. And then I did have these bat stands that I did not remember that I have, but it kind of goes well with the with the little house, right? So look how nice that looks. Turned out really nice. So I might zhuzh it up a little bit more. Um, I'm trying to figure out where to put that blue sign. Maybe I should put it on here. I don't know yet. I might put a little bit of trees just to give it that beautiful centerpiece. And I think that's all I'm going to do. Okay, you guys so that is it that's everything so this is the little house right here on the coffee table I have the um, pottery barn inspired pillows back there and um, I I'm thinking I like it I am gonna be adding some more things um, this orange is pretty much gonna be all the orange I'm gonna have in here so it's kind of subtle and I'm okay with that so um definitely um, pleased with the way things turned out so that is it that is everything for tonight i hope you liked everything let me know your thoughts let me know what you think so far of my main table and then the coffee table and what are your thoughts did you like my pottery bond inspired pillows i love the way this came together um and um there are going to be a couple more diy i have a couple more diys coming up that i'm going to do with you guys they're definitely disney inspired so if that is something you want to see, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell for notification so you're the first to be notified when I post up a video. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you later. Take care and be well. Bye.